Hi everyone and welcome back to Writing Tip of the Week. My name is Julie Stigmeyer and I work with the GSEP in Writing Support. Today we're going to talk about the difference between primary and secondary sources because I've gotten a lot of questions about this recently. What this means is when you run across a quote within the source you're reading, how do you attribute it? How do you cite it in your work? So that's the question I've gotten recently. So I thought I'd review this quickly. First of all, <clears throat> a primary source reports original content, whereas a secondary source refers to content first reported in another source. So an example might be, you might see a diary, read a diary by Abraham Lincoln. Okay, that would be considered a primary source. Then let's say you read a secondary source, which would be a biography about Lincoln, in which the author quotes from the diary. You could even have a tertiary source, a third level, like an encyclopedia entry or a page on Wikipedia, which might quote from both those secondary and primary sources. Now, how you come across this in your academic writing is you read an article that presents original research. That might be a primary source, but actually not reading that one, you come across it when you read a secondary source, a later article which quotes that research. So, which is better? Should you use the secondary source or the primary? In scholarly work, primary sources are always preferable. This means that when possible, when you come across in your reading um, a primary source quoted in a secondary source, you should try to track down that primary source. What you can do is if you find the title of it in the references of your secondary source, you can try to just plug that title into a database or a search engine and see if you can get hold of it. If not, you should cite the secondary sources sparingly. So the exceptions are if the original work is out of print, unavailable, or available only in a language you don't understand. So to quote a secondary source, you should provide a reference list entry for the secondary source. In the text, identify the primary source and then write as cited in the secondary source. So for example, the original or primary source here is Rabbit 1982 as cited in Lion 2014. You can see the significance of the dates here. Here's the earlier one quoted in the later one. If the year of the primary source is unknown, you can just omit it. Now here you see we have the author, original author, but no year cited here. And then here is the secondary source um, that you can see in the in-text citation. That's all for this week's writing tip. I've seen this question a couple of times in the last couple of weeks, so I thought I would share it with everybody. If you have a question, please feel free to pass it along. And until next time, happy writing.